Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and in today's video we're going to be unboxing and adopting the Unify UAP AC Pro. The UAP AC Pro can be installed indoors or outdoors. It has simultaneous dual band 3x3 MIMO. Now MIMO, simply put, is an antenna technology that can supply higher throughput depending on the type of antenna that's inside of your wireless device. The unit has 5 GHz band with speeds up to 13 megabits per second and a 2.4 GHz band with speeds up to 450 megabits per second. It has a range of up to 400 feet or 122 meters. It supports both 802.3AF and ATPOE and has two gigabit ethernet ports on the rear of the unit. As far as users, it supports up to 200 users. So let's take a look at what comes inside the box. You get the Unify AC Pro access point, ceiling and wall mounting kits, a gigabit PoE 48 volt adapter, a quick start guide, and a rubber insert for use in outdoor installations to protect the ports and connections from the elements. I hope you guys can see this okay. There's your main ethernet port, followed by a USB which is reserved for future use according to the manual. You have a reset button which serves two purposes. Quick release, restarts the unit, press and hold, sets it back to factory default. And then finally, you have a secondary ethernet port that can be used for bridging. And finally, guys, as far as the form factor of the UAP AC Pro, you could see here side by side with the UAP AC Lite, the UAP AC Pro is considerably larger. All right, guys, so I have the UAP AC Pro. I'm about to plug it in uh, to an Ethernet cable that is being powered by my Unify Switch 8 150. I have the port set to supply 48 volt. Uh, PoE power. So when I plug this into the main Ethernet port on the back of the UAP AC Pro, it should fire up. It should begin to flash. So let's go ahead and do that now. And it might take a few seconds before it actually fires up, but I'm, I'm going to show you the flashing light and hopefully you'll be able to see that. And there we go. It's flashing. I don't know if you guys can see that. Once it turns solid, we'll uh, be ready to get this adopted into the Unify controller. And there we go, it's solid. So I'm gonna place it down and I'm going to launch the UBNT discovery tool. And again, if you've seen my uh, prior videos, it's a Chrome plugin that you can download from the Chrome store. I'll put the link in the video description down below. So let's get started. Okay, so let's come up over here and click on Unify Family. And there we go. Oh, it found two instances of the uh, Pro. So I'm going to go with the one that says Pending. So let's click on the Action. And the first thing we have to do is tell the access point uh, where the Unify controller is. My controller happens to be out on Amazon Web Services. So I'm going to set the inform URL to that of my AWS controller and say execute. And now I should be able to come over to my controller and refresh. And there it is. Okay, so it's right here. It says pending adoption. So I'm going to move over and say adopt. And a lot of times when adopting to a cloud controller, you have to give the uh, set inform command a second time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, and let's go back to the Unify controller. And there you can see after applying the inform URL command the second time, the switch is now provisioning. Okay, so now we have a connected status. So the first thing I'm going to do, like I do uh, with all my adoption videos, is click on the device, and I'm going to change the uh, device name to make it a little bit more user-friendly. 
So let's click on a device and come over to the configuration section and click in the alias field and I'll give it a friendly name and I'm just going to call it living room U A P A C Pro and say save. And I don't know if you can see this now, but it did take on the name. And now finally, um, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the firmware on this device and I'll be back. Are you sure you want to upgrade? And we're going to go ahead and say confirm. And we'll return once the upgrade process is done. Okay, so we're back. The Unify UAP AC Pro has been upgraded, the unit provisioned, and now you can see here we have a completely uh, connected unit and fully adopted unit. And you can see here now, once the unit is adopted to a controller, that it has a solid blue light. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so that's about it. Uh, later on, I'll go in and I'll tweak some of the um, channel and power settings for the uh, access point. I don't like to leave them set to the default. Um, applied, you know, or given to the unit by the controller. So um, but that's about it for getting this uh, UAP AC Pro unboxed and set up and adopted to the cloud controller. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, please like and please share. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching and see you next time.